Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Growing Pains podcast. Pains we are joined <laughs> by Faith Kelly and Ethan Bazinga. Fizzle K. How are you doing today, I'm Fizzle good. K? Can, yeah, I was going to say, can we have like a petition to actually change my name to Fizzle K instead of Faith Louisa K? Faith Louisa K. Yeah, people, people on Instagram think must I'm, think you're Polish I'm or something. Yeah. yeah, Faith Louise. I don't think anyone thinks I'm from here anyway. No, like people always ask what I'm a mix. Russian or like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? Okay, what breed of dog would you be if you was a? Oh, what mix would you be? Because I think Wyla. I'm a mutt. A mutt. A mutt. I'd yeah, be you're a right one of those mutt. little shivery fucking chihuahuas on some nan's pillow. I'll tell you, pillow, what, like, bah, bah, I'll tell bah, you bah, what dog I'd be. I'd be Charlie Donald's dog. I'm going to get a picture I don't you guys. think anyone wants to be Charlie. Have you oh. seen it? Oh, Have no, I it? just thought you actually just no. meant, not his actual dog, I thought you just no. meant you're, you're picking your own no, no, and no, you no. want it to be Charlie Donald. No. I thought that's bold. No, his dog <laughs> needs to die. He'd agree with me. Is it bald? It's the bald one, yeah. but it's also got a trim, like a little bit of hair at the front. Yeah. It's the worst looking thing on planet Earth. And every time I've gone around that house, I've said that needs to die, but I don't think his family take too kindly to that. Uh. But I think I'd be a, a mutt. Oh. Okay. I'd be like, I'd be a Hades. I'd be like a mix of everything. I'd be a slut. Yeah, a slut. Everyone would have had a go on my mother. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nuts. <laughs> that sounds absolutely nuts. Fair play. Um, well, yeah, it's okay. How's your week been? Talk to me. It's been good. It's been good. I went shopping today. You that did do fine. that. I I literally shopped till my arms fell off. I I could not hold anymore. And that just And you're buzzing crazy. with that. Yeah, look, you're yeah. buzzing with that. I didn't know that this is the effect shopping has on women. Yeah. Like I actually I've come home in a good mood. Yeah. I feel nice. I did a little haul for Olive. So this she actually loved like it. you've got endorphins. Like this yeah. makes you happy. Yeah. Like so see how like men's is like watching the football, yeah. doing the football, doing the, doing the golf. Mm -hmm. That gives us like a Oh, nice. I've had a good day. Your good day is spending money. Yes. That's mental. Yeah. Wow. It's a nice little treat. Oh, my throat just made a weird noise then. Sorry if this microphone <laughs> just picked that up. At least it's, it's not fizzy, spit. fizzy drink. At least it's not spit you slurp noise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, of course. So you've shopped today. What I else have you done with the week? Today. Um, booked a holiday. You did. With my mother. Yep. And Olive. And the daughter. And the daughter. Uh, how long do you think it's going to be until we actually kill each other no I think you'll be alright you know oh, I, I think you're going to a lovely place they're going to Croatia they're going to Dubrovnik yeah and I've got a nice little surprise for them haven't I you do we can't say on the podcast we can't just in say case. it just in case because I'm going to do a YouTube video on it as well look at me yeah. go I know why she's doing it Talk hello HMRC <laughs> hello HMRC <laughs> we have HMRC. found your loophole <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We can buy nice things on our business account. <laughs> okay. Allegedly, by the way. Allegedly, she's doing that. She might not actually be doing that. But yeah. allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're going on holiday. You've booked holiday. You've done a clothing shop. Yeah, I have. Yep. No, it's, it's going to be good. I mean, it's You've had a good week then. We have had a good week. Except Olive, I had to go to the hospital. Yes, you? we have spent the evening, the long evening mm. at A&E recently because uh, baby girl had a high fever. Yeah, bless her. No, it was like it really did come out of nowhere as well, didn't it? Yeah. Like she was hot. Like when Ethan got her out of bed in like in the morning, she usually comes into our bed at about five in the morning, doesn't she? And then um, about then. Even five it, early for her. So. Yeah, and I thought, oh God, she's a bit hot. But I didn't really think anything of it because when you're it's sleeping, baby, you, you, yeah. you do get a bit hot. And then as the day went on, I was like, oh my God, no, she is boiling. actually boiling. Took her temperature and it's like 39.8 or something. And I was like, mm. oh my God. 40, yeah. Took all of her clothes off, didn't I? And then we ended up on the phone to 111, spent the evening in A&E. &E. And thankfully she's doing better now, isn't she? Yeah, but today she's a lot more today, in Today, yeah, herself, two days nice. later. But yeah, no, that was um, not nice. It's our first like actual... Problem, Ill illness. I'd yeah, say. because we went to the doctors earlier that day because she's got a little bit of impetigo. So you yeah. learn all these different things when you when you're a parent because mm. you have to look out for them. But she had this like rashy sort of thing under her armpit and a spot on her face. So we took her to the doctor just to get her checked out. Um, but then as we got home from the doctors, they only gave her a cream and she was still boiling. So we thought, yeah, let's go he back. Asked me, he went, does she have a fever like with the impetigo? And I was like, well, I haven't. Checked. So, sure, that's on you. Like, to check, right? That's what I said. So yeah. I, I rang them back up and I said, "Listen, he didn't check. Like, she's a baby. Usually, I'd expect a doctor to do like routine she's checks. Cooking. When I go to the doctors, they still check in my ear and in my mouth. trousers down. Yeah, I only went for yeah. hemorrhoids. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually <laughs> had hemorrhoids <laughs> before. <laughs> Baby, you've always got hemorrhoids. How can you say that you've never had them? All this man. No, does, I said I have had it. I have had them. You've this always had them. 
I, I might always have, have them. As I speak that, to you today, I might have them. Is this your index? Huh? Is this your index? Yeah. That is always up his anus. <laughs> always. I like he'll be in the kitchen or something, and it, his oh. finger he'll be like I'm, doing I'm, that, <laughs> and it's and it's awful. I'm yeah. like, babe, just but he won't get hemorrhoid cream. He won't do it. Listen, just get a bit of anus cell. Listen, and you'll be fine. So it's just a fucking itch every now and then, man. Every month, I itch my bollocks, I itch my ass. It's just part of life. It's not inside it, though. Well, anyway, tangent. Uh, baby went to hospital. Yeah. We got that. there, and it's crazy. that, that But we did get put through to the children's A&E ward, yeah. which is a lot nicer place to be in. Yeah. Like, genuinely, it is. when we walked into the hospital, um, I thought, oh, good God, if we've yeah. got to sit here. Mm. But again, am I just a privileged white man? I probably. think you did come out and ask, is there a private A&E? So <laughs> I said I would right. say you're no, a bit my, privileged, yeah. My point was <laughs> you was like you don't get Jeff Bezos in my like point was, right, A and E, do you? For example, KSI's child is not going to fucking Basildon A and E. So surely there is like a KSI doesn't have a child, by the way. This is a hypothetical speaking. <laughs> KSI's child will not be going to Basildon Accident Emergency at that time. You so are not surely. KSI. No, but I am I'm not far from no, I am very far away from it. You're, but, you're the K. Yes. So, <gasps> surely there is, there is a, a premium A and E somewhere. Well, as I said, I think there's a private hospital, a hospital in Brentwood, and I think if mm. you just register, probably give them a little bit of money, they'd take you in. I think yeah. that's how it works. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not you. Yeah. Well, respectfully, I wouldn't know. That was my <clears throat> main thought process. Was oh, can we? But even in the hospital, there was so many people. Bearing in mind, we was in with a sick baby, and it's very evident we with an unwell baby. And there was people that obviously recognised whatever. And then there was like, she's they, they get louder, and it's like you're sitting right next to us. We already know there was four you're seats all, away, by the way. Yeah, that four. Like, and there was like, she's just so cute, isn't she? Really loud. And then there was like, Ethan then went to the toilet, and then one of the women went. Just ask him for a picture uh, if he's famous, and obviously he probably wants you to ask him for a picture. <laughs> and I've just ignored it. Like I'm literally two seats away from this girl, and I'm like point, point blank. I can see her out the corner of my eye waving at Olive. I'm like mm. dead on straight. I'm like this is so inappropriate. We're at a hospital in well, the children's ward. Yeah, three a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Do you know what? If you could just all make a queue so I can take a picture, because like. I'm lapping it up. Yeah, you fucking love it. Do you know what? It, our baby's not even ill. We just wanted to go there so people yeah, ask people. Yeah, you know. Just wanted to, <laughs> we just, just wanted just people to ask even Test pictures. the crowd, you know. See <laughs> yeah. if everybody in Accident Emergency wants to pick. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that was a little bit of trauma this week. But yeah. other than that, it's been quite good. Yeah. Tell you what we did. What did we, we do? We golfed together. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did do that. And I would say Ethan is just as good as me. That's a lie. So all these lessons he's been going to... <sighs> Listen, waste of money no it's not a waste of money because I'm getting better and I'm telling you now I was good again today I had a lesson today and I was good I'm good I'm good you know, I'm all, I, all I had from this podcast you know that we've been talking about golf yeah. whatever I have from your recent Sidemen video people have been saying Faith stop moaning about Ethan's golf lessons he needs them did you watch the Sidemen yeah Sunday? no I crumbled in that video yeah I absolutely crumbled people have been telling me even my friend who Harry Hugo uh, shout out Harry Hugo Friends. you probably might watch Ooh, this uh, he he's good at golf mm. um, and he messaged like oh, I'm about to sit down and watch this I said don't please I said oh, don't watch it golf or one no 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 it's different oh. but I said please don't watch this video there's oh. n there's no need do not take that for granted because the, the other day I played in the morning I played at the course did an on course lesson and I was smoking shots mm. I think I crumble in front of people I know I don't know why. When I'm playing with Scott, who's my coach, by the way, I can hit some beamers, bro. But then I crumble. And I also, I've noticed when I play with the boys, we did the 18 hours last week. Mm. I feel panicked and rushed because some of them are better than me. Yeah. I feel like, oh, shit. Yeah. And then I just go up, whack it, and then fuck it up. And then I'm running around like, oh, shit. Uh, is that why you felt you did that with me then? Because you felt pressured. I think I've got performance good. anxiety. That wouldn't shock me. That's not very nice. <laughs> Um, however, what I will say is yeah. your top golf prowess did not translate oh, to the I'm, course. Oh, I'm not great at golf. No, no it not was. Not actual golf. And we had two geezers behind us. And I said to Faith, Faith was more worried about the deer that were on the course. There's like 500 deer, by the way. So, so Ethan's acting like there's three that you're going to hit. There's like herds of deer. No, there was herds of deer. Um, but Faith more worried about those. And no go on, what noise did deer make? We found that out. Oh, yeah. What was it? Like, meep. On. Meep, meep. So Faith stood at the tee box right to take her shot and she's going, Oh, so cute. Oh, 
lovely. And then they're just all running past going, meep, meep. Yeah, I never ne- I've never heard a deer make a sound before. Meep, yeah. meep. And I was like, if you look at a deer, that is not what I thought no, they'd make. No, I thought make. they'd make. I've had a yeah, or something like that. It wasn't far off. It's just more high pitched, yeah. little. Um, but there was a couple that were like left side of the fairway, right side of the fairway. And then like one rogue one, probably like a hundred yards yeah. away. Yeah. And Faith would be sat there like, "Oh, I'm worried if I hit it." And I said, "Listen, you're not that talented. Don't no, worry." No, but all of my shots were going in the trees, in the bushes, and to the left. Yeah, it was bad. all the all the deers were always on the left. So you're top golf. How are you so good then? Um, big holes. Right. Okay. There's only that one tiny. One, it's uh, so far away as well. The flag, Ethan was going, flag's over there. And I'm like, where? Could see it, yeah. I could not see it. Uh, like, we had two geezers looking? behind us and I kept saying about two holes in, I said to Faith, right, they're right up our arse here. We should let them play through. And Faith's like, it's fucking, it's Sunday. It's whatever. Just let them chill out. Yeah, no, but Ethan gets really stressed, by the way. I wasn't, they wasn't on our asses, like behind us. You've just made it sound like they was behind us better they than us. They were close. They was close. But they was a hole behind us, right? And no, by they the, was on no, the same we had hole to wait 15 minutes for them to pass, by the way. So I'm not having No, he it. gave him room because it's, it's golf etiquette as well. It's like, all right, we're but holding then, your day up here massively. Yeah, we but, then, but then I said, what, are we just going to do this to everyone else that's behind no, us? No, we, uh, only them. Like, every, like, I was had to they rent the whole pitch out because we yeah. can't just let everyone go that's behind us. Well, but we did let them go, yeah. didn't we? And then they put the ball on, whacked it, and Ethan went, oh, lovely shot. And he went, oh, fuck his shit. Yeah, he, not he, to he you, a not shit, to you, took his shot. Saying. Dri- drove it off the tee box and went ah and I went I don't know what he's complaining yeah, about that either. was actually quite nice I, and I was like wow that was a good shot yeah My pro- I've not, not got the welly ever no this podcast is literally just like golf yeah chat, I was literally just thinking in my head let's take this chat, chat over yeah, yeah. Um, well oh. it happened uh, we got a golf caddy the, the lovely man at Mayland's Golf Course mm. on reception recognised me mm. he gave us two this, chocolate this bars this podcast is just all about Ethan being famous though. he gave a uh, he Definitely gave us two nice chocolate mate. bars uh, I might get him in trouble at work for this he gave us two chocolate bars two drinks and some teas and a golf caddy for nothing well that's coming out of his, out of his wages well done uh, I might have set him up well hopefully it doesn't get shared mm. they, don't, they don't know who it was at Mayland's Probably only someone. one young boy with brown um, hair. But yeah, then we get the geezers. And a dog. <laughs> the geezers we let play play through. Mm. Um, they said, um, quite a deer around here, aren't they, the buggies? How'd you get one? And I said, uh, I'm a YouTuber. And uh, the geezer recognised me. And they was like, oh, that's it. That's what I'm going to say next time. No, you time. didn't. You said white privilege. No, I didn't. Okay, you're just trying to set me up. Uh, football is back. Yes. FPL. And guess what you did last week? You made the prediction that Harlem was going to score two goals. I did. To Proddy, to you, mm. to Elliot. To the world, yeah. To everyone. All the boys were talking, oh no, he's only going to get one. He's only going to score one. No. Like, he's coming in gentle. Mm. He was asked last whatever he done. I was like, no, Harlem's the go. He's getting two. Yeah, that's your Viking. And then, that is my Viking. <laughs> <laughs> I fancy Harland so uh, chill out, much. Man. Chill out, because again, everybody that you say you fancy goes from power. Harland, I look nothing like. No, you don't. Absolutely nothing like. So, but I don't think Harland's everyone's cup of tea. No, he's not. He's very. He, uh, I, I just like odd-looking men. Yeah, for, uh, great. <laughs> um, well, going along with your football knowledge, your ball knowledge, yeah. seeing as you are on a streak Ooh, right look. now. Yeah. Uh, we've actually got an FPL bet going, if you wasn't aware, last yep. episode. So if you're not caught up on the episodes, go watch them, rate them five stars. Of course, that's of what you're meant to do. Uh, but we have an FPL bet. We do. And you are taking it very seriously. What is it? Is that 50 to 50,000? It's 1,000 to one and that's you've it. bet 50 pounds. <laughs> yeah. So I will get 50 pounds if I win. And I will get 50,000 pounds. Yeah. And I believe you will not do it. I'm like three points away from you. Yeah, but like you said today, before this podcast started, right, we had like a big traumatic experience because she was trying to get her transfer done. But also earlier on today, you said, me. on the way here, <laughs> on the way here, you said, oh, FPL is actually like, it's like a pregnancy, you know? And I said, no, yeah. I said it's as long as pregnancy. Yeah. That's mad. And I don't think you had the minerals to, to, to get the baby out. I don't think you've got the minerals to see through an FPL season. I want 50 It's different. It's a different type of mental torment. No, because um, like you say, you like collecting money off of Mini Minter. It makes you happy. I love it. It's, there's nothing that fuels me more than taking money off That's what I'm saying. So Minter. I'd quite like to see that to you if I've got the opportunity. Yeah, fair is. So. That's, yeah, uh, yeah, all, Game's a game. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that you... Turned down a pretty big brand deals to look after his baby. So I should yeah. <laughs> take yours. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how is your FPL doing? How many points did you get last week? <sighs> I don't know off by heart. I'm not neek. <laughs> <laughs> One second. I can tell you how many I got. I got 78. 
176. Mister, I love football so much. Oh my God, I watch every game. I know everyone in yeah, every I know team and I know done. what colour shirts and you were, they wear. And, I said, and I I'm two points behind you. I didn't, didn't even know Rio Ferdinand played for. We were sat on the sofa. That's embarrassing. We were sat on the sofa and I went, go on, tell me what your Google search was. Was it just like best FPL team 2023 no, it's or something? Not. And it's you went, not. yeah, it was. No, it's not. You liar. I'm not telling you. My, well, t- type in best FPL team. No, I'm not going to do that. That's what I'm saying. It won't be the same. I don't need it. Wait, but you do. Two points head. Yeah, and I'm really happy. Have with my you made any there. transfers? Nope. Have you not? No. I did. Did you? Who did you yeah. bring in? Because <laughs> the, the, the deadline's literally in I've, seven I've, minutes, by the way. So sure I've like... done it. I've done it. I think I've done it. Swapped out Foden, bought in Madison. That's actually just a good transfer. I respect it. I respect it. It's a good transfer. I didn't make any this week. Yeah. I just rolled. He's going down. No, but I, I so I get two free ones next week, and with the fixture list that are coming up, I've got some plans. Oh. But um. No, well done. Good transfer. Uh, it is a good transfer. It could pay off big time. He's sweating. If you had sweating. Salah, I'd be really sweating, but mm. you don't. I don't. I ran out of money. Mm. Yeah. Well, that, that was fun, wasn't it? So, yeah, we we have been uh, playing FPL and we will see what the results are later tonight. In nine months time. <laughs> Moving on to rah, 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 the Growing Pains news. What's been going on in the world of the Growing Pains world this week? Wow. That, sh- that was a... That Shit. A lot of words, that. That was really poo. That's what it was. Welcome to Grand Payne's News. Uh, Kiki Palmer's boyfriend and father of her child criticised her on Twitter for wearing a sheer dress to Usher's concert, saying, it's the outfit though, dot, 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 you a mum. Oh, that's rude. She... I, don't, I don't really... I don't, I don't know who this is. I haven't seen the mm. pictures. Does she body oddy? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but I, this is, is just like the general debate of like trying to control what like, your Mothers. baby mother or something wears. I feel like probably like three years ago, I used to be a lot more like probably a little bit like possessive or like a little bit like, oh, don't, I don't, I don't like her wearing that or whatever. Whereas now, do what now you want, I've man. had a baby and my belly hangs over my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> no. When I had a tight little no, belly and a reason, nice perky belly. I, f- I feel like I'm just a lot more mature in that aspect now. Yeah, no, and I'm a lot more fat. You're not fat, bruv. Not you- fat. I'm not fat. I'm, out of shape and I have a very oh. wide rib cage now. You look lovely. But I had a whole baby's head growing between my rib cage and my whip cage. Whip, whip, cage. whip cage. My whip cage. <laughs> my <laughs> rib buddy, cage. Buddy cat. <laughs> it is a whip cage. <laughs> my rib cage yep. is wider now. So um, that's no, fun. I think you look lovely. I complimented you on your hair last week, didn't I? Because I actually really liked your hair like that. Yeah, and so I've done it again. Mm. And you didn't compliment it this time. Is it like how it was last week? No. Yeah. No, it's not. You had two bits coming down the front last week. There you go. Compliment. Bang. No, it looks good. I like your hair like that. Thanks. I just feel a good like job. it's a bit odd. because No, yeah, I feel like it's it's one of them things. I feel like... Uh, Treat and mean, keep them uh, keen. No, an insecure, <laughs> an insecure younger Ethan would have been like, oh, oh, she's wearing that, man. It's a bit like, oh. Whereas now, I think, just let them be... Fuck it, man. It's all up to the women anyway. Really. This like, is what I'm saying. I, I can be completely covered and then go out and shag someone if I wanted to. Exactly, you could just but be But I could go up. out in the skimpiest like, outfit wearing a nipple cover, but I'd mm. be so respectful to my man, I'm not doing anything. No, respect. Do you know that. what I'm saying? So it yeah. actually don't matter what you wear as long as you go. And the cool. point of saying like, uh, you're a mum, yeah, so... I actually hate that comment. So but at least she's a mum and confident in her body. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, exactly. That's more a good point about it. Yeah, absolutely. I just get told I've got traps now. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to read the next yeah, topic. Yeah, no, look, sorry. it slipped up again. No, 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 Behave no, 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 chart. No. Ethan yeah, thinks it, I've got trapped. If trap. you used the right camera angle, yeah, <laughs> I promise you, to get me out of jail, I was actually looking at the next topic. That's what I was looking at because I thought we was finished on that. No, no, it's fine. I'll no, you look help. lovely. You're great, Thank you. darling. Thanks. I don't get anything, though. What do I get? You, you fucking stink, shit mate. Mullet. You stink, you stink, mate. You fucking arsehole stinks. You fucking pick your arsehole. <laughs> Is it any, try, is try that, and say something is nice that a bad today. thing. Right, okay, so let me paint the picture. Out of the words you've just said, where he said, oh, your arsehole stinks, whatever, he will be in bed. We have clean white sheets. And I'm very funny about, like, hygiene, okay? I'm, re- I'm a really clean person, right? Personally. Ethan's just not at all, right? Barely brushes his teeth. Anywho, he gets into bed, he gets into bed, and then he will let his arse cheeks rip borderline a hole into our bed sheets <laughs> spreading his little poo particles everywhere and then he looks at me with his eye mask on whilst he's got his finger digging into his fucking hemorrhoids and then he goes you never say anything nice about me and I'm like are you joking it's not First quite of as all, graphic your breath that. has given me acne <laughs> <laughs> 
He's talking this close to me in bed and he don't brush his teeth with the bacteria from his mouth is climbing into my skin. <laughs> You've made it sound like barbaric. It's not, it's not like Do you that. brush your teeth once yes, a day? Yes, I do. Wait, I do, but then I also do the second it's one now. It's awful. I've started to... Brush your teeth. I've started doing the second one. I've You're actually, 28. I've actually... <laughs> what do you mean you've started? I've actually already done it twice today. Fantastic. Well done. What you want? So does everyone else in the world? Yeah, I know. It is quite bad. I, I just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got nothing else to say on that matter. But say something nice about me. Go on. I like your pointy ears. No, but you, I think that's cute. your get out clause. You've said that so many times. Yeah, because I think they're cute. I think your pointy ears are cute. I don't have pointy ears. Okay, I like your cheekbones. Are you fucking pointy? They are a bit pointy. It's the other but one, really. It. It's the other one. Yes. Yeah, it's it's not really from that angle. It looks quite round at that angle. But if you're straight on, look straight on to that. See? They're a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so cute. Wait, which one? Are you saying this one? Yeah. Pointy? Yeah, maybe a bit. But I like that Olive's got them as well. Does she? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Mine are tiny. Say Mine else is. Nice about me. I like your um, cheekbones. This is <laughs> thanks. What? <laughs> you feel like just trying to make anything up. Oh no, I like your cheekbones. I think they're really nice. Do you? Yeah, I don't like his haircut right now. He's got an, a mullet. I don't have a mullet. I've... You got a mullet, no. and then he come home. He's like, oh, I got a mullet, and he was really yeah, happy about I'm, it. And I'm, it just looks fluffy. I'm going into a different because, like I said, mm -hmm. I may or may not. I'm getting it tape. It's like a taper fade. That's what it's called. Uh. Getting like a taper fade because I'm thinking about loose perming the top of my head. Is that what all the cool dads are doing? Listen, I've got to provide youth somewhere because I feel like I'm... I feel like... Botox. I, I live Botox. Like, I live like a dad down. Look, I look like a dad going out. I've got fucking short... Uh, this is all I wear. I just, Babe, but don't... You dressed like that before you had Olive. When I knew you, before I lived, you wore gym shark shorts and a t-shirt, white trainers. Nothing has changed other than the fact... Even the same jewellery... <sighs> well... Anyway, let's go on to the next topic of the week. Okay. <laughs> Soon as that tangent ended up with me being roasted. <laughs> uh, Tyson Fury says he felt at one stage that Netflix show was a mistake. Oh. Wanted to cancel during filming. We've been watching that, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We've not finished it, but I'm really enjoying it. I think it. we might have just finished episode five. Yeah, yeah, not finished. But, uh, but I've been really enjoying I, it. I, I enjoy it as well. I feel like if you're putting out a documentary on your life, it, it can feel a bit too personal. I was going to say, I wonder how much of it, because I know how these things work when people are making like a things are set up or organized. Like I feel like, see when he just took the kids over to the park nearby, I feel like, is that, has Netflix said, Oh, do you, you should do something today for the thing or whatever. Like we're coming around this, they do so. I wonder how much of it is set up or like how much of it is him just saying, Oh, I'm doing it. Mm. Cause the camera crew has got to get somewhere. Yeah. Of course. Like this is what I'm saying. Like, content yes. This is what I'm saying. So in my head, I'm watching it and I'm thinking how much this is, real but then i think gypsy culture anyway is just completely different yeah they, uh, and you can so tell. i yeah. feel like it is gonna be a very spontaneous way of living anyway yeah but it, like he, he books spontaneous trips every now and then so i suppose maybe maybe they do have to be on the oh fly, yeah but... and Aoife, you you like to think of yourself kind of like tyson fury don't you i don't so you your attitude wise oh no but we are you said it i don't like to think it by the way faith literally said while i was watching it you and him are like quite similar, by the way. You are quite similar, yeah. Um, like in the fact of like not our dogs because you don't really like our dogs, but when he was like um at the front door, is when Paris was like waiting a weekend <laughs> for him to come home, and he was like, "Move out of the way, Paris, go go see my dog," like that. <laughs> I know was, he chucked her a jacket. And went, yeah, Paris, hold that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go see, see my dog. dog. Yeah. Um, but it's just tendencies like that. You are actually quite similar. Yeah, you said Especially it, yeah. in the fact like, oh, if I've booked something, it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not coming. I'm like, I, don't, I really don't want to do this. But I, I, listen, I struggle with my mental health. It's not anything to, to take fun of. I'm not making fun of it. Don't think too much you. yourself. <laughs> Why have you much. just tried to like use sometimes, a mental it's, health it's, card it's, on me? Because, because I'm the one that's bloody bought you out of mental health. Thank <laughs> you, you have, very yeah, much. You have, have. Give me some creds on that. You do get a bit creds for that. No, but sometimes I do, I do go into my shell of wanting to be an introvert again. And I don't like performing. So It's not performing, it's a spa day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I do like a spa day. No? Spa days are nice. I uh, really like the Netflix show though. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's a good it. watch. So. I, I really like Paris as well. Paris comes across really Paris, nice. Paris she is really fun. Lovely, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so the she, kids are hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah. So funny. When you read them the bedtime story, <laughs> it was that there. You, that shit. Yeah, literally <laughs> the youngest one. I think he's like two in the show. Yeah. Like, that shit. Yeah. So good. I said to Faith, I was like, I can't wait till and what what well, is not swearing about what it. really makes me laugh is that they don't care about swearing no, around the kids. Not, yeah. And the kids swear. Yeah, when he's of when they packed him the swim shorts where he's like, Oh fucking swim shorts. <laughs> it's so funny, man. I find I I I know it's bad, but I find young kids swearing really funny. Yeah, not our kids. No, I know, but other kids. <laughs> when Olive does like at the minute, obviously she doesn't speak or like understand. Yeah. But when she does like something naughty, like blow raspberries, I was like, I have to try and like. Oh yeah, like she Ethan's taught her to blow raspberries, but she was just. We was in the doctor's office the other day, and she's just sitting there, it's like the best. almost spitting, and I'm like, oh my god, stop! It's so <laughs> funny. She'll sit there, and but like, Ethan will be giggling. You'll do it once, and she'll like look at you, and then she just goes. <laughs> And it's the funniest shit ever, man. I love it. It's always time and a place. She never does it unless we're out ever. No, I know. So when she does start speaking and she might say something funny, I'm going to have to try so hard to not laugh because I'm just going to find it hilarious. But we're not far away from that. She is no, very close to being babbling. a year She's year, year old in that. Yeah, so we're not far away. Um, company offers Margot Robbie £250,000 to send in pictures of her feet. Oh, send the pics, yeah, Queen. Do it. She's probably wore heels on a send on a pic. show. If someone offered you two hundred and fifty grand to send them a picture of your feet, I'd, I'd, I'd get like, the fucking Sony out and say, "What angle do you want?" Yeah, I'd be getting like little cowboy hats put on my big. Yeah, I get, I, I get props. I get props yeah. for them. I'd, to, I'd actually. Do you want me to hold a little umbrella between my toes? I'd pay for your foot appointment to make sure they're in the best condition. Oh, I had a foot appointment the other day, didn't I? Oh, so it nice. looks so nice. Faith goes, "I'm going to get my nails done in the evening." So yeah, all right, nice. And then send the video of her just getting a fucking full damn foot rub. Yeah. I'm trying to get a foot rub. But do you, do you remember the last podcast po podcast episode? What? Right? One of them where it's like, Ethan doesn't rub my feet. He's too rich for I that. I don't, yeah, yeah. Um, so we literally, you paid for this gentleman to, to rub, rub my, my feet. feet. Yeah. 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 Well, and I'll so take that. Can I go there and say, I don't want my nails done? Yeah, of course you can. It's just pedicure. Really? Yeah, come with me. Want to just rub my feet up? Yeah, come with me. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I might have to do that then. We'll go. Oh, this um, is cute. Finding hobbies together. Yeah, Margot Robbie, if I was you, lass, I'd be sending pictures of my feet. Oh, she's already done it. And like, she could literally just take the most half-assed fucking picture of her foot as well. Of course, yeah. And and they'd love it. So, yeah. All right, Get next your money, one. queen. Uh, bride wants divorce after just one day after husband grabbed her by the head and pushed her face first into the cake at the wedding after she asked him not to. Listen, that's Maggie. I wouldn't like it. No, you've you had your makeup like done. You've had your hair done. You've asked for one thing. Was, don't push my head into a cake. Just a bit of fun though, isn't it? At a wedding. Yeah. And no, I actually, actually pushing heads into cakes is really dangerous, by the way, because candles. Or some cakes, especially wedding cakes, actually has um, stints in them. Mm. to hold the layers in the cake so it's actually oh, I've seen that yeah. sorry <laughs> trying to eat them yeah, I'm trying to get a little gobble um, you actually push your head down into it and a lot of people have ended up in A&E with eye surgeries because of that, that. so like, actually stuff safe, gone through people's tongues in it safety tip don't push someone's head through a cake um, would you divorce me if I'd done something like that uh, I feel like you just would have done so much leading up to the wedding and then we got <laughs> married <laughs> Why has one day got to tip it over? Well, eventually you're what would you uh, You'd have to do something extreme. Yeah. I don't know. Cheat on me, I guess. That wouldn't be fun. Well, as long as that's that's the bar, then I'm safe. So I'm not, not going to really. do that. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be in a bad mood about it. Well, how is that safe? And why would you want to do any more than cheat? You're meant to be my... No, I'm saying like that's the bar. Like So anything so leading up to that... You can do. No. <laughs> <laughs> The way you've said it is like that's the only divorce line. So that's fine. Yeah, and you can be um, really negative. So if you're continuously negative and it's bringing the vibes down, I'd probably go for that as well. Well, you'd divorce me for that. Yeah, because if you're not vibey every day. I'm vibes. Not every day. Sometimes. So if it was like continuously for a long time, no vibes, and it got a little bit dull. No, no I, think I'm, I think I'm fun. 
Yeah, I, I think, think it was fun. Thank you very much. That's really nice. We've got the baby pros and cons of the week, mm -hmm. but I mean, like the major con really was the hospital, hospital stuff. Trip, so, yeah, like, yeah. but yeah, the pros. She's been taking steps. She's well, she she's walks. Had, she's has had her first steps. I'm saying it. My baby walks. <laughs> she doesn't walk. She walks. She can take four steps and fall. She stands up for a long time by herself. <laughs> she oh, she stood up on a sofa today, and that is balance. She literally stood up. Balance queen on the sofa and was like. It's really cool to watch now. Like, it's hilarious. But she gets so happy with herself, doesn't she? When she does her step, she goes... <laughs> so she'll... she'll it's you, so you, cute. You sit with her on the floor and you pop her down. And then, like, you leave, like... It's longer than arm's length now. Yeah. And she'll stand up for a while, like, get a balance, like, look at you. And then sort of take two steps and then tumble. But as yeah. she's tumbling, she goes... Yeah. <laughs> and starts cracking up. She loves it. She did it off the sofa earlier. And I thought, right, well, we're not starting this as a gang. Because no. you're going to do it all the time and no one's no. going to be there to catch you. No, she does find herself hilarious. She, she finds walks. herself so funny. But like, She's like me, isn't she? The other day, she, um, I popped her in front of me. And she literally turned around to walk oh to you. Oh my God, yeah. So impressive. Yeah, really impressive. Kind of nice for me. Ethan was like, I was like, come on, Olive, let's see, let's see you walking, walk mm. to daddy. And then she was like, mum, you've, yeah. you've come in the room. And she went from facing Ethan to just doing a full circle, yeah, step by feet. step. And didn't fall over. And come to me. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. So it, I love that queen. I'll tell you what this, this spells trouble. Why? Because she's going to be, before we know it, all over the house. Oh, I'm going to really enjoy it. Come in the garden, come walk. Yeah, I, I did say, I think I'll, I'll enjoy it a lot more yeah. when she can walk. Yeah, of course. But, um, but it's going to have its pros and cons. So she can, she's going to be over. in Tesco's. Well, I'm going to be in Tesco's and, I'm, and she can be like, oh, I want to walk. I'm like, yeah. God's sake. <laughs> yeah. Five miles per hour around the shop. Yeah, but you're going at their pace, but also, yeah, falling over, loads of cuts, bruises, all that. We have like safety fired the house. Got to literally put down carpet everywhere other than... And we have shit. done that, but even... I mean, like, when you're out and they're walking Yeah, of around. course, but it's inadvisable, isn't it? What? Inadvisable. It's going to happen. In the... What? Inadvisable. Say it again. Inadvisable. Spell it. I-N-E-V-I-T-A-B-L-E. Inevitable. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> Inadvisable. So, so it's... So inevitable. Tight look. Say it again. Inevitable. There you go. Yes. It, it's inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, stories that shouldn't be shared. Okay. Go do, for you, it. Do, do you just want me to host this one? I'll just. I can read. Uh, I've got seven percent battery. Do you want to use your phone, please? Mm -hmm. This is my sort of just please, um, please save. Please help. Please save my battery. So about a week ago, my wife and I bought a virtual headset that. Oculus 2, Meter Quest 2, for our and our kids' enjoyment. We've played VR games, <laughs> ridden VR roller coasters, and just explored the world via Google Earth on their equivalent so far. It's been cool. Oh my God, this is long. Today I was playing around and exploring random places in the world and when the headset pinged and got a notification popped up. It was a Facebook message from my wife's dad. I paid no attention as they were close and always talk about work and stuff that's been going on, etc. Well, a couple minutes later then, no, so it doesn't say then, a couple minutes later, another notification's popped up and this time it said wife's dad's name, attached image. Normally, I just let it go, but this time I decided to be a little bit nosy. Not thinking anything bad about it, boy, oh, I was wrong. I clicked on the notification and immediately saw a hard penis as the attached image. For a second, I was amazed at the size of it. <laughs> thinking it's still her dad, but okay. And then I quickly realized it's my wife messaging her dad. So either he's secretly gay, bisexual, or that's his dick. I immediately closed out of the conversation and took the headset off. I thought to myself, what did I just see? The obvious answer was my father-in-law's dick, but I also thought, why is he sending pics of them to my wife, his daughter? I was shocked, but a couple of minutes later, I put the headset back on and saw that there were some more messages from him. Oh. I opened the conversation and saw that she had sent in some X-rated pics and the same... Oh, no. Yeah. The dirty... Sorry. The dirtiest pic of him... Um, huh, uh, Can you read? No, it's just, I'm so sorry. I thought this was... 
going to be different ones, but it's like one whole paragraph. I'm so sorry. Right, one second. The dirtiest pic of him being his cock laying on a cum-covered pussy. Oh. I didn't recognise the pussy, so oh. I ruled oh. out that it uh, was my wife. Could it be my wife's mum or some other woman? I've decided to stop snooping now. My wife is at work until 7pm, so I have some time to process and decide whether to talk about it. I talk about it to her or let it go to see if there will be uh, more eventually. I will update when I have more info. Right. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Bro's like got VR, headset, dick pics. Bit of a mess, really. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of words. Not a lot of things leave me speechless. I'm not going to lie. But sure, look, listen, you're either being cheated on and she's just saved the contact as dad. Mm. so that when that's smart I didn't even think of that yeah that's what I'm saying well I don't like that now <laughs> you've now learned me I'm gonna have to go through your phone and check who's dad do you want me to ring dad right now who's dad <laughs> Sorry, why dad? you got four dads <laughs> <laughs> no it's a thing people do it for like pizza heart save pizza no, I've pizza seen heart? the pizza heart why is pizza heart messaging you at four in the morning <laughs> I've seen the pizza um, heart one but you know if you save it as dad and then you're obviously like if you was with me yeah in, in, in that instance you've seen nothing of it you'd just be like oh your dad's text you yeah yeah oh that's daddy has yeah. text me wow yeah um quite alarming however if it is her actual dad bro why are you still there that's incest and uh a, yeah a, a cum covered pussy <laughs> podcasts are getting x-rated man Dick laying on a cum covered pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Such a vile word. I yeah. call it your muff. Huh? Your muff. Muff. Cum covered muff. Cum cum covered bucket. Cum covered. It's not bucket. Cum cum covered. I didn't even have a vaginal birth. I'm not talking She's about your. She's still tight and I'm right. About your fairy place. Garden. Well, yeah, it's not, not bucket to, then. Not Can't call it your... cum bucket. Then call it that. <laughs> your wife has a cum bucket though. She's sexing her dad. This just uh, this is all stemmed from VR. What's going on? How do you even open messages on VR? And like, this at has the all end... just got a bit technical yeah, for me. I'm not going to lie. At the end lie. of it, said, I'll keep you updated. I don't even, it, like... I think, mate, just let go. We're yeah, good. please do, actually. Keep us updated. But it's really, it's not looking great, boss. Yeah, I personally think you're being cheated on and that's not dad. No, it's not dad, is it? No, and if it is her dad... Even You're worse. very patient to wait yeah. until 7pm. And the fact that he's home saying, from work, oh, I'd be work. all in. I'd yeah. be like, hi, oh, I just got um, a, a hard penis pick from your dad who's a cream pie to pussy. Do you care to explain? <laughs> oh, no. Right. Uh, go on to the next thing of the podcast, please, because I'm done They're with that. talking too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm done too with that Too many pussies. One. I'm done with that. That one's, that one's reached its uh, deadline. I'm finished with that. Okay, cool. It's a long one. So for all the viewers' discretion, I'm going to let Ethan read it for you. Please do, yeah. I'll tell you what, because that last one was... If you get a message from Dad. That last one was painful. Right. Uh, uh, oh. Retire myself from the long Even messages. I'm old. I can't really read this. Uh, right. My 26-year-old female sister-in-law... 26 female. Well, it is a sister-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> keeps asking for my husband's 28 male sample to give a little backstory. My sister-in-law is a lesbian... This is relevant information to the story. She has two kids from a previous marriage to a man. She's now married again to a wonderful woman who I love dearly. They have recently decided that they want to grow their family and have kids of their own. My sister-in-law first brought up the topic of using my husband as a sperm donor years ago, where right after she came out and was in her first lesbian relationship. My husband has told her no countless times, but she keeps persistently asking. Her reason is that she wants a kid with the genetic makeup of both her and her wife, which I understand. My husband has said no for multiple reasons. When my husband was a little under two, he had cancer in his eye, which resulted in the removal of said eye. He has gone through so much and is continuing to go through a lot because of this. He does not want to risk putting another life through that. Reason number two being that I cannot have kids. I've been dealing with infertility issues for as long as I can remember. I've had multiple miscarriages and was told by multiple doctors that I cannot carry a baby. My husband does not want to put me through seeing his child with someone else. Oh, this is a bit fucking heavy. Uh, I know that we will not have any legal relationship to the child, but to know that the baby is genetically my husband's, that would kill me. My S-I-L doesn't, I don't know. Significant other, no? No, that's S-O. Significant my, sister-in-law. My sister, yeah, that's what it is. It's my sister-in-law. Oh, okay. I'm not my significant sister-in-law. <laughs> that would be S-S-I-L. My sister-in-law 
doesn't think that that's a big deal, but it's kind of hurtful. My sister-in-law was my best friend way before I even met my husband. She knows firsthand the issues and experiences I've had. It honestly just feels like a slap in the face. How can I explain to her how this makes me feel? She is hard to talk to if it's not about her. Oh, listen, I'm completely on their side. If you're struggling for infertility and there's people yeah. asking that was for your partner's seed. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm personally... I am very much like... Ethan would never do it. No, no, never. no. I'm very much like, like I've said before on this That's podcast. That's my woman. I control that one. And that, that that one me and Tyson Fury are very, no, I don't, they're very similar in that aspect. That's my woman. Yeah. I'd like her to be loyal and respectful to me. Whilst I go and, out and let porn stars sit on me. Hey, I've not pulled that one up in a couple episodes, have I? No, you've actually gone like Slip a that two, one in. two episode <laughs> streak. Well done. Fucking no, boring, mate. Yeah, there we go. Uh, um... Yeah, yeah, so I would never do anything like this, ever. Mm. And I do get his point as well. Mm. Why are you pulling that face? No, I just was thinking. About what? Your point. About um, what point? Relating in my head to your point. Trying to uh, paint the picture. I haven't even got my point across. So um, what are you talking about? I've got Tyson Fury in my head. I'm painting the picture. What are you talking about? Ty you're talking about Tyson Fury. No, I'm not. I'm talking about the story again. Go on then. Because you ruined that last bit by just being boring again. Uh... <laughs> Can we keep that in there, please, editor? You've been boring, man. This same shit. Oh, um, right. You brought back my eye twitch. You've, you, you've not my whole train of thought, bro. Sorry. You like me to be. No, your I'm only not even woman. talking about that anymore. I'm talking about a fucking poor geezer's story because he had fucking cancer in his eye. Okay, go on then. Continue. So I get the point. Go on then. If you don't want to have a kid with fucking eye cancer, it makes sense. I think I've got eye cancer. Jesus Christ. I had a twitch in his eye for like two months and um, it's just not going. Yeah, Lunday, either way. Uh, I, d I think it's uh, rude that they actually keep asking because I yeah. think if you've said no for such a big thing, you should have just accepted no the Respect first time. Respect the decision. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's actually rude to keep bringing something up. I feel like in, in any situation though, if someone's told you no, respect the boundary. Yeah. That's it. Like, don't go forward on it. You've, you've already been told. Yeah. Don't keep going back with it. Yeah, I, I think you've got, again, I'm in no position to and talk it, it, about it, this because I don't have, we yeah. don't have fertility issues. We, we're in no place to really give advice. But my advice as a human would be, put your foot down, say respect my wishes and my husband's, yeah. look elsewhere. Mm. It's not hard to find a sperm donor. It's not. It's you, not. You can go out there and get some sperm. The, yeah, there's um, cum banks. There's right? banks. Yeah, yeah Let's not call them cum banks. I don't like that. I don't like the term cum banks. It, we, makes we, it, it, makes oh, it, it makes it feel too graphic. Like, it's a sperm bank. It's scientific. Yeah. Would you, Not would you ever go to a cum bank? No. But I did... I have said before, if I was completely fucking talentless mm. and had no brain cells no to learn anything... No, I've got swimmers. Oh. But if... if oh, that would be money. my last yeah. thing. That would be my resort is... But then... The the swimmers can come and find you once they're eighteen. Yeah, that is crazy, you know. And they get permission to know who their dad is, which yeah. I I get. But say if I was just going come bank to get a quick fucking cheds. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, every other fucking year, I've got Jeremy coming to find me. Yeah. Alice, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You've just two hundred and fifty quid. That's all you were. <laughs> yeah. I don't wonder how much you get paid for it. Should we go uh, Google? Come bank. Yeah. Hey Siri, how much do you get paid for being a sperm donor? My Siri is not on. I oh. don't know how to set it up. Uh, um, sperm. Hey Siri, oh. how much do you get but for sping. being a sperm donor? Thirty for thirty-five per visit. Wait, what? a donor can be compensated up to four hundred ninety pounds per month. That's not bad. I take four hundred ninety quid a month. Yeah, if I was, a, like I said, shift. if I was fucking talentless, had nothing going about me, negative brain cells. How many people watch this podcast that are now going to go to a come bank? No, I'm not trying. I to feel like I feel like you're gonna got to have like uh, qualifications to get accepted, though, right? Uh, fun fact: uh, I've spent two hours and thirty four minutes in a high stress zone today. Oh really? Yeah. I think I have as well because, like I say, you brought my Twitch back in that conversation. Well, I just wanted you to know that when you say mean things to me, <sighs> triggered my Twitch. Anyway, uh, put your foot down. Be yeah. respectful. Yeah, I think be Next respectful. bit of the podcast, please. Let's see it. Because my, uh, my 6% battery now is not going to get us there. <laughs> sure. Okay. We have the next segment. Yep. I don't like this, by okay. the way. Why? Are you smarter 
the knitting year old. Oh, big fan. Oh, I don't big like fan. this. All right. Are you ready to play the game? Yes. All right. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to go question, question? Can I question? ask you a question first? Sure. Right. Which famous building did Guy Fawkes try to blow up? House of Parliament. Correct. Thank you very much. That's one nil me. <laughs> you didn't know that, did no. you? All right. What is the highest mountain in Great Britain? Oh, I was going to say Kilimanjaro then, but you threw me in with the uh, Great Britain bit. What is Snowden. The uh -uh. Oh, it's the one only nil. One I know. Oh, this is fun. I like it. When we do the spelling bee and quizzes, I'm actually a big fan. What was the answer, please? Uh, ben Nevis. I don't even know who that is. It's, it's a mountain. It's not Could be mountain. someone's uncle for all <laughs> I know. Right. By area, which is the largest state in the USA? Texas. No. Fuck. Alaska. Oh, no. Oh, it, to be fair, in my head, it was between Alaska or Texas. Yeah. Texas. Te <laughs> Texas. I don't know what happened to my Sounds mouth. Sounds like sauce. Um, all right. So you could potentially make it 1-1 one, one here. Yeah. What colour are sapphires most commonly? Blue. ba -bum. Do you know why? Rings. Yeah, I was going to say I that. I was going to know that one was That I? one you, you should probably I was going to know that one. Get, uh, all right, so 1-1 one, one overall. 1-1, yes, one, one. here we go. Where, I actually knew this one, by the way. Where is the smallest bone in the human body? Ear. Yes. Yes! Get in there! Get up! My all right. Turn. Oh yeah, shit. It's my turn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, he just looks at me there. Like, I was celebrating my win too much. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually really happy with myself. How many teeth should an adult have, including their wisdom teeth? Are you joking me? Why are you so easy? I wouldn't have known this. <laughs> Bro's gowning. <laughs> she's got this calculator as well. So in her head already, she's forgotten how many she's got in the top. Yeah, I've got like sixteen on top. Cook. Go on, cook. I'm letting you cook. I uh, kind of fucked up it, so I'm just going to do... No, don't Google. No, maths calculator. All right. 16 plus, I know, 20. 36 teeth. You you nearly cooked. Did I? It's 32, so I was, you, oh. I, I was expecting you to just do Maybe I've 16 times 2. Maybe I've just got too two. many teeth. I thought you were just going to do 16 times 2. Oh. And, and, and just try and... Go Would I have put it if I did that? I think 16 times 2 is 32, right? Yeah. Oh, so uh, uh, yeah, I was I was like that the whole time. I was, when you meant sixteen, I was like, that would make sense actually. So I counted my top row, right? Yeah, I thought you was cooking. Yeah, that's why I said I've let just her got cook. Too many bottom teeth. All right, what's my next one? I, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm not on the board. So two one, two one. Okay. Oh my god, his his ones are so easy. What is the name of the lion in the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe? He won't know this one, though. He won't know the clue. Jeremy. No. He's got a thing for Jeremy's today. Yeah. It's Aslan. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. Did you? What a silly guy. Yeah. I, I did know that. I didn't That's think you'd so that silly. Well. Why? I could just... My brain couldn't be bothered to even try and remember it. What an idiot. But now you said it, of course it's that. Yeah, Aslan. Shit. Last name, actually. I kind of rate it. All right. What is a group of kangaroos called? Cattle. <laughs> what the fuck have you just said? I know it's cows. What right? the fuck have you just said? I know it's cows. I just don't know what they're called. And the first a cattle group... of kangaroo. Yes. If you I, don't rate only this only podcast thing, five stars, only, you've lost your fucking marbles. The only thing I know about because the two-year-old taught me this when I used to work in a preschool. Um, because in a book it said, What is a kangaroo's baby called? And then I was asking a question because obviously it was going to tell me the answer on the next page. Yeah. And then I was like, a Joey. And I was like, Oh yeah. So well, that's all I know you've about. Got it wrong. What about a clan? It's clan not of a kangaroo. Clan of kangaroos, a no. group. No. A swarm. No. A Fest. <laughs> it's not a fest of kangaroos. What is no. it? It's a mob. That literally could have been one of my next guesses. I know. I was going to let you keep going. Yeah, that literally no, could have been you, on you've there. You've got that wrong. It's not a mob of kangaroos. Yeah, what's the next they come one? Come with the guns. Oh, oh. So you're looking big. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm too swell. Well. From holding olive all day. Um, in Great Britain, in which month does the longest day occur? Well, it's summer. 
I thought you was going to go each task then with you. So that's, that's good. <laughs> it is. It is that's about, that should pass as an answer though. No. Um, <laughs> June or July. I think. Because it was, it was later last month. Like the sunset was later last month. I'm going to say July. Uh -uh, it's June. Fuck! It's my birthday month as well. I thought that. Ah! I, thought, I thought you'd know because your birthday's I think in I'm July. Still ahead, two one. Oh, I don't know. We are not smarter than ten year olds. But no, I... discalculator. Not at all. I don't know who's got what point. Uh, right. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's your turn for me. What is the coloured part of the eye that surrounds the pupil? Iris. Yeah. Boom. Two two. Well done. That one's a piece of piss. Excuse that me. That one was so easy. Are you joking me? I didn't know Aslan. But I know what Iris is. Well, got two of them. Some people might not. I ain't got two Aslans, have I? Got two fucking Irises. <laughs> Fair play. I'll give you that. Right. Oh, f f is he it's so easy? No, but you, you're saying it's easy because you can see the question no, and the you'll answer. No, know it. He'll know it. But you it. said the line he'll in which the wardrobe it. one was easy. You'll know it. You, 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 I'm not telling you this bit. Yeah. In which city is Le Louvre Museum? The Louvre. Le Louvre. It's Paris. Well then. Yeah, thank you. If I didn't put that accent on. I nearly on, panicked there. Did you? Yeah. Le Louvre. The Louvre, right? Did that turn you on? I thought that Hang was quite it good. The Louvre. The Louvre. No. Le Louvre. The Louvre. Have you seen that the That was Har actually sick, have wasn't it? I'm turning seen, myself Have you seen on. the Harlan clip of the Louvre? Le Louvre. Have you seen the Harlan clip Le of the Louvre? What? But, I've okay. seen Harlan's clip at Paris Fashion Week, yeah. No, no. The, he he's says, like a sexy guy. He puts on a lead accent and... Uh, oh. That much. The, the Louvre. Is that how you say it? Louvre. It's French. It's the Louvre. Uh, <laughs> it's the Louvre. The Louvre. It's the Louvre. Um, it's my turn. It's your turn. Yeah. What is the third largest planet in the solar system? Oh, I don't know. What planets you got out there? Um, you have Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, the Sun, the Moon, uh, Jupiter. Uh, I'm just going to go for Mars. The third largest. Sure. Well. Or you're, Saturn. You're wrong. Or Jupiter. No, you're wrong. You can't keep saying, oh, you've got it wrong three times. You're wrong. Uh, oh, three but times. I, shall I tell you something funny about that? The third largest, you listed Uranus in third. Yeah. You went, da, da, da. And that was your third answer. And it is it's Uranus. Oh, really? So you, I, th I thought you was going to get it, just then. It is big. But you did not. Um, Uranus. Yeah, my turn. So we're currently drawing two two. Yeah. Out of like ten questions, this is. This bad. don't bode well for you, by the way, because the amount of times you call me brain dead. Oh no, I'm thick. And you're like as smart as me. I'm thick. Yeah. But not in the cake wise. <laughs> I'm not thick there. You're not thick. Got thick yeah. cock. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm first. I don't know where that <laughs> come from. <laughs> Where did that come from? Know. You just shouted out, you got a thick cock. So the whole I don't podcast. know. Right, come on then. That's why I've got a bucket, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, which sign of the zodiac is represented by the crab? Aquarius. No, Cancer. Fuck. I wouldn't have known that. I, I, the I only reason I went that. Aquarius was because crabs are in water. <laughs> It does make sense. I <laughs> see, see your logic. I see your logic. I've not got a fucking clue about star signs. Yeah, but you love them. No, I don't. Oh, I've you love not, crystals. I, I don't know shit about Faith star signs. Faith literally got crystals on our windowsill charging up. I thought he was going to mention Olive. And also, oh yeah, let me get onto that as well. Olive's wearing. But we'll do that after this. Okay. Um, she got crystals and she burned sage. Right. Um, which artist painted the Mona Lisa? Van Gogh. <sighs> What? Is that not him? Leonardo da Vinci. Oh. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Van Gogh did. Yeah, that's what he did, yeah. <laughs> at least you know which ones the he did. Scream. Yeah, at least you know which ones he did. Right. Oh, damn it. Come on, I need to beat you, even if it's just by I one. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have known Leonardo da no, Vinci. I need to beat you, please. Oh, he'll know this. Stop. Every time you've said this, I got it wrong. <laughs> I'm a jinx. I'm a little jinxy me. Come on. Sorry. What are the names of Harry Potter's parents? <laughs> I know this and I've never watched Harry Potter sue me I don't know do you not know hazard a guess <laughs> just hazard a guess I don't know I don't know oh I don't know I don't know I just played fucking Hogwarts for so long 
Oh yeah, that was Dara. I was Martin. playing Hogwarts for so long, and now I don't know this. Alice. Yeah. Is that one of yeah, them? Yeah, it is. No, it's not you. No, right. it is. It is. Alice and Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Got back. Yeah. All right, what is it? James and Lily. Fuck. I've got that route. You might beat me. Because this is the last question. Oh, have I skipped one for you? Maybe I am dyslexic. One. You started first three. though. Oh, so I've got one left. Yeah. yeah all right. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, but you started. You started, so you should be done before me. No. How many questions you got? One, two, three. One, four, two, one, three, four. four. I had five, eight questions. Six, seven, eight. Same. Well, maybe just something went wrong. Are you sure you've not just repeating the last question? No. Okay, what's my last one then? Your last one is, what colour is the centre of the target in archery? Red. Black. Got it wrong. Yes, Black, we draw. Isn't it? We draw. No, it's uh, gold. Oh, is it? Yeah, the centre of an archery ball is gold. gold. Yeah, the golf? I know well, this. I wouldn't have seen gold. I know this because ball, of uh, the Olympics game that we play. It goes white, blue, red. Or does it go white, blue, black, red, gold? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it turns out we're both dumber than a 10 year old. Yeah. So I might make a video like that, actually. That was actually really poor for me. I'm really upset with myself. I think you should be upset with yourself. For someone who claims to be so great and smart. I don't claim to be great and smart. I'm Smarter the first... than me. You're no. one point ahead. Oh, sorry. I'm reading a script, aren't I? Yeah. Sorry. Well, no, we got it wrong. Anyway, that, that was the last thing for today. So, I will get into it. Uh, Faith has crystals that she charges up on a fucking windowsill because apparently the moonlight charges them up. By the way, never use them. Uh, it's not really, burn it's only sage, full moon every twice a year. Burn sage when there's bad vibes in the Yeah, house. mate, sometimes I just walk into a room and I'm like, oh, I just got weird energy here. So, burn sage. Yeah. And then today, um, I've gone in the living room and Olive's got a fucking anklet on. And I said... What's all I've got around her ankle? Well, go, go on, explain what it is. Um, they are 100% amber beads yep. for teething to help. It's holistic to help with teething. It's actually really recommended to me. So, And it's actually a teething bracelet. So don't come at me about health and safety. It's not a bracelet, it's an anklet. No, it's a bracelet. I put it on her ankle so she doesn't bite it and choke. Oh, that's actually really sharp. <laughs> so yeah, we've got holistic... <laughs> Healing Babies. beads around but her baby's she, ankles. Has she teethed? Yeah, she's been dribbling all day. No, but not been crying, dribbling. It's a difference. Do you think it's working? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what will work. Rating us five stars. It will. On the podcast platforms, liking this YouTube video, subscribing, doing all those good things. Follow us on Instagram. Send us your relationship quirks, anything, rants, whatever it is, no, life don't situations. Be shy. Send them in. Yeah, we, send it. We like we like them weird. Yeah, anything you got, anything about your life, your current situation, send it in to the Instagram DMs. That's yeah, the best place to do I it. I feel like that is the best place. And by the way, completely anonymous. We completely don't know who anonymous. you are. We just get text. Text on the document, boom. And we don't even see it. Yeah. It goes to... Uh, exactly. So I don't, I don't you're safe. The Remember, team. guys, <laughs> like the video, like the podcast, rate us five stars. Yeah, do a... not let us fall off. What are no, you doing? No, we fell off. No, exactly. Pick us back up. Yeah, we fell off really badly. So please help. Yeah. Uh, Send love and prayers. Have a great week. Hope you're having a good one. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.